In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a home photography studio for under $200. So there are a lot of misconceptions in the photography community about what it takes to do studio photography in your own home. People think that they need to spend a lot of money on gear or that they need to have a huge space or that it needs to be a lot of super complicated setups. But I wanna show you in this video that you can actually get some really cool studio looking shots in your own apartment without spending a ton of money. So I'm gonna show you how to build a home photography studio in essence for under $200. So the main things you need whenever you're trying to do studio photography in your own home, you need some sort of backdrop and then some source of light. Now for your backdrop, you can use a collapsible backdrop or cloth backdrop that you buy on Amazon. You can even use a white wall in your apartment to get sort of a clean backdrop. Now for lighting, if you're not using natural light during the daytime, you can use something like a softbox with a continuous light or you can also use a flash and then something like a softbox to soften the harshness of the light. So today I'm gonna to be setting up a sort of studio in Benita's apartment here, and I'm gonna be taking some portraits of her with my Sony a6000 and a 50 millimeter f1.8. So for starters, we're just gonna use the white wall in the background as the backdrop, and I'm gonna be using a continuous lighting setup on a softbox. So let's jump into the photo shoot. For starters, I'm doing a simple front lighting setup by placing the light directly in front of and slightly above Benita. This creates a flattering, even light on her face. I'm using the Limo Studio Softbox Lighting Kit from Amazon. The kit comes with two lights, two stands, two softboxes, and a carrying case for around $60 US. One advantage of a continuous lighting setup, as opposed to flash, is that you can see how the light looks before you take the photo. So even without a backdrop, just using a white wall, you can get cool portraits like this. Now, if you wanna use a backdrop, it's very easy to get one on Amazon as well. For my backdrop, I have a Fovitech collapsible muslin background. This backdrop is nice because the outer ring of the backdrop stretches the muslin flat, giving an unwrinkled, clean background. It's also fairly easy to travel with and comes with a nice carrying case. I've put links in the description to all the gear I've used in this video. Now, here are some more photos that I shot during this studio session. So I hope you all found this video helpful and got a sense that you don't need to spend a ton of money or have a ton of space to get studio portraits in your own home. So if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all the latest videos I'm putting out. Also, I've put together a free Portrait Photographer's Ultimate Resource Guide with a list of some of my favorite portrait photography learning resources that I used when I first started out. So if you check out the link in the description, you'll be able to put in your email address and have that free download sent straight Straight to your inbox. We'll see you soon, folks. This has been another episode of Dan Bowen Photography. Peace! Peace. <laughs>